Hello and welcome to this learning video. In the last learning video we have seen what is moments, moments about origin and moments about mean followed by the relation between the moments about origin and the moments about mean and then we have seen the definitions of moment generating function and the characteristic function. Okay. So here in this learning video, we are going to take problem on the definitions that we have just made. Okay, so let us see what this problem says. So here we are given a random variable whose values are 1, 2, 3 and the following pro uh, and the respective probabilities are given 1 by 6, 1 by 3, 1 by 2. And what we have to do is we have to find out mean, variance, moment generating function and so on. So we have to find this much of things. Okay, so what we are going to do here is we'll make use of the given thing and we'll find out all this uh, mean variance and all. Okay, so let us take, so let us first of all find out the expectation of x. So what is first? First we have to find out mean, meaning thereby expectation. So for discrete random variable. Why I am writing discrete random variable? I just looking at the values of x. x is taking values 1, 2, 3. So I just came to know that these, this is the problem of discrete random variable. So for discrete random variable, we know that. So what we know? We know that mean, which we denoted by expectation. Mean is equal to expectation of x is equal to. What is it? This is summation x f of x right so what values we have here we have x means 1 into f of x into 1 by 6 plus another value of random variable corresponding probability 1 by 3 and then another value of random variable into its probability so when you solve this what you will be getting here i can make it uh, 6 so this is 6 plus 1, 7, a 7 by 3 I am getting it as, okay. So my expectation of x comes out to be 7 by 3, okay. If you are not able to get it, you can just uh, do like 1 by 6 plus uh, 4 by 6 plus, is it, multiplied by 2, divide by 2. And this is into 3 into 3. So this is 9 by 6. So when you solve this, so 9 plus 1, 10, 14, 14 by 6. So this is 7, this is 3. So 7 by 3 is the, is the value of mu that we are getting it. Now let us find out the next value. So what next we have to find out? We have to find out next the variance. And what is variance? Variance is nothing but, yeah, this is just 1. Then second one is the variance okay and we know what is variance variance is given by which we denoted by where of x variance is equal to where of random variable x is equal to expectation of x square minus expectation of x whole square is it so i have expectation of x i need to find out expectation of x square so let us find out here Expectation of x square is equal to summation x square f of x, which can be written as 1 square into 1 by 6 plus 2 square into 1 by 3 plus 3 square into 1 by 2 is equal to, what is it? This comes out to be 6, right? So we have expectation of x square, we have expectation of x. So what you are waiting for then? Just find out variance of x. So what is variance of x? Expectation of x square that is 6 minus what is expectation of x? Expectation of x is 7 by 3 whole square. Right? So this gives you 49 by. Okay. So this is 6 minus 49 by 9. Okay. 9, 6 of 54. 54 minus 59 is 5. So answer is 5 by 9. Okay. So we have the value of variance as 5 by 9. Now, let us find out next is the moment generating function. 
the definition we have already discussed in the last learning video so what is moment generating function so moment generating function moment generating function do you remember the notation of this the moment generating function that is mx of t mx of t is what is it this is nothing but expectation of e to the power tx and if you want you to if you want to write expectation of e to the power tx for discrete random variables so this is summation e to the power tx into f of x e to the power tx into f of x okay so substitute the values then put x is equal to 1 f of x1 then likewise okay so i am writing here now it's not working okay so what is the first one x is equal to 1 so this is e to the power t into f of x is 1 by 6 plus put x is equal to 2 so this is e to the power 2t into 1 by 3 and the last one is e to the power 3t into 1 by 2 so taking the lcm you will be getting 1 by 6 into e to the power t plus 2 e to the power 2t plus 3 e to the power 3t so this is my moment generating function okay so this is my mxt now next what you have to find out next we have to find out expectation of 3x plus 4 so that is very easy the fourth one expectation of 3x plus 4 these are the elementary things that you can find out this can be written as 3 times expectation of x plus 4 into expectation of 1 is 1 okay so don't know what's the problem okay so this is like 3 times what is expectation of x just we have found out 7 by 3 plus 4 so this comes out to be 11 okay now the last second last one that we have to find is expectation of 2x minus 1 so now i want you to pause the video for few seconds Try to compute expectation of 2x minus 1 and then resume the video. So I hope you might have found out the value of this expectation of 2x minus 1 which can be written as 2 times expectation of x minus 1. So this is 2 into 7 by 3 that is 14 by 3 minus 1. So this is nothing but 11 by 3 okay so we got 11 by 3 now we have found out almost of all the things except this first four moments about the origin okay so now I'm going to find out moments about origin of course first four moments about the origin so let me use different thing okay seventh one now is it visible or not okay let me use different one now we find first four moments about origin if it is asked like you have to find about origin then about origin if it is uh, asked for find first four moments about the mean then you have to go for it okay so we know that so whenever you are writing the word we know that ask yourself what we know yes what we know we know that uh, mu r dash in the definition itself we have seen moment about the origin is denoted by mu r dash and it is written like expectation of x power r where r goes from 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. Okay. So 
we have to find out first four moments about origin so you can just put m uh, sorry r is equal to 1 first moment about origin r equal to 2 second moment about origin r is equal to 3 third moment about origin and r is equal to 4 that is the fourth moment about the origin okay now look at here if you look at here the first one the first thing is put r is equal to 1 put r is equal to 1 we get we get mu 1 dash that is the first moment about the origin which is expectation of x power 1 e x but we have already found out e x that is 7 by 3 we just substitute here 7 by 3 simple now you can find out the second moment so second moment can be written as say this is to be a b put r is equal to 2 we get what we get mu 2 dash is equal to expectation of x square and to get the variance we have already found out the expectation of x square what is it its value is 6 so it is like when you do good for good in the past that would be helpful in the future okay so what is expectation of x square 6 right so expectation of x is 6 now you can find out the expectation of what you can find out the expectation of x third moment about origin that is expectation of x cube. so put r is equal to 3 so for r is equal to 3 we get what is it mu 3 dash is equal to mu 3 dash is equal to expectation of x cube so what is expectation of x cube can you able to find out yes summation x cube into f of x so what is it 1 cube into 1 by 6 plus 2 cube into 1 by 3 plus 3 cube into 1 by 2. Okay. Solve this to get expectation of x cube. So expectation of x cube comes out to be 49 by 3. That is mu 3 dash. Okay. Mu 3 dash is equal to this comes out to be 49 by 3. Okay. At last, we just have to find out mu 4 dash. And that will complete the solution of this problem. So, the fourth one. Put r is equal to 4. We get what we get. Mu 4 dash is equal to expectation of x to the power 4 which can be easily found out by writing it like summation of x to the power 4 f of x okay then substitute these values 1 power 4 into 1 by 6 plus 2 power 4 into 1 by 3 plus 3 power 4 into 1 by 2 so what this mu 4 dash comes out to be 46 okay so once you are getting this mu 1 that is mu first four moments about the origin don't forget to write down at last the first four first four moments about origin are what are those values 7 by 3 6 49 by 3 and 46 okay so this completes the solution of this problem okay so i hope uh, this uh, problem is clear to you in the next learning video also we are going to take one more problem of some different kind on the same topic and then we will continue for this same 
for the continuous random variable whatever we have discussed here it is for the discrete random variable the same we are going to do for the continuous random variable okay so thank you for watching this learning video thank you